Hello and welcome back to another video. This is my second, third time filming this voiceover. I forgot to press record on the last one. So I just talked to myself about this video for 10 minutes or 11 minutes, however long this video is. Um, anyways, we are doing Vanessa's nails today as we often do on this channel. And we're starting by removing her last set, um, which was actually featured on Vogue Singapore, which is super cool. Under their like Pride Month, um, nail idea situation um super fun it was like a gelato gel ombre with like encapsulated stars and like little doodlies and stuff um anyways the set we are doing is super mm, i don't want to say quick it could be made quick if you choose less colors i do not i choose all of the colors available um <laughs> But basically we're doing Aura of Stars and we're gonna be doing that with an airbrush and using all the airbrush paints and stuff. Um, and really the longest part of the process was changing colors and trying to like sort out what colors I was putting where and all that kind of stuff. Um, so say you chose just to do like the same color on every nail, this would actually be a really, really quick, quick and easy service, which is awesome. Um, so we're starting off by prepping, obviously we removed the last set or took it back to the builder gel and then pushed back the cuticles, got in there with the Erica's ATA nib bit and just lifted up those cuticles as well as getting the dead cuticle stuff off the nail plate. Um, then trimmed away any dead skin with the cuticle nippers, which Vanessa, she trims a lot at home as well. So there's never usually much for me to do. She usually takes care of it. Um, and then we're just going in and we're refining kind of the nail shape length she's already got going on because she wants to continue to grow them out because uh, if you remember Vanessa's nails were really long at one point and then we gave them a big chop and now she's uh she's growing them back out so that's why we're not doing too much filing just kind of getting the shape nice um, and then I'm going in with my sanding band on a low speed and just going around the natural nail etching that up a little bit but you want to be super 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 gentle not to F up anyone's nails, you know? We try and keep all nails in good health. Um, and then I turn up the speed on my e a bit to probably around a five. I was originally running around one when I was going on the natural nail. And I'm just evening out the builder gel that's left on the nails. Just so my application is a little bit more smooth, a little bit easier. So I can do a lot of refining while I'm applying the builder gel, leading to less filing after the builder gel is on. If that makes sense. You know, we're trying to be efficient and effective, make our services a little bit faster. Mind you, whenever Vanessa's in, our services are not fast. We sit there, I mean, she's my best friend, so we just sit there and we talk and we eat. Um, I usually block out a really long time for nails that should not take that long, but it's fine. You always have those people um, that you do nails for, I mean. No, I'm just going with Izemi Neo Base in the lower viscosity. No, I mean the medium viscosity. Um, this is a base cut that works really well on Vanessa's nails, so we always go back to it, just applying a thin layer of that, making sure it's really well applied to the natural nail that doesn't have any gel on it, because um, that's the most important part in prepping. Um, and then we're going in with the Izemi Easy Builder Gel. This is one of my favorite builder gels. Um, yep, yeah, it's just one of my favorites. <laughs> Dramatic sigh and pause for no reason. I just love it. Um, I get all my Zemi products from Sweetie Nail Supply, for which I am a brand ambassador. So feel free to use code Rebecca for 10% off your Sweetie Nail Supply order. Um, I don't... I also love their, um, the Izemi Quick Builder, the Resin 99.9 .9 Quick version, and then the Potted version as well. I really love version one. Izemi makes really great products and like their whole thing is about, I mean not their whole thing, but one of their key standout things is how clear their products are. And it's actually wild how clear they are. I, I always use their products when I'm doing like anything glittery and it makes the biggest difference because the clarity is nuts. I don't know how they do it and how nobody else has done it as well. Like as good as them. Anyways, me using the praises for the clarity of the gel. Um, I'm just going in and like I said, I'm very carefully refining while I'm applying, so I have less filing to do now. But when I am filing, I basically file down the sidewalls to make sure they are straight, because that is my, a big pet peeve of mine when you have wobbly sidewalls. Um, and then I go around the cuticle, make sure that's kind of flush, and then kind of skim across the top as well. 
Make sure everything's smooth. Make sure the apex is feeling right in the right spot. But like I said, I'm trying to do a lot of refining beforehand, so I have minimal plowing to do. Um, yeah, and then I, of course, forgot to film the buffing. <laughs> because that's just also something I do. But I buffed her nails, and then I dusted them with a dust brush, and now I'm just wiping them down with a bit of alcohol. Um, and below my hands, you can see the array of colors that I've opted to use today. Uh, they're tucked away behind my massive head. <clears throat> okay, let's re my head. I've uh, been analyzing other people's videos, trying to figure out where their camera angle is, and why their big heads aren't in all their videos. And I mean, I, f I figured out where I want to try to film. Mind you, I've already filmed a ton of videos with my big head um, and the curtain camera angle, so I'm gonna make an effort to edit that out in future videos. Um, slash the like actual art part of this video, I edit out my head a lot, so it's a little bit choppier. The clips are a little bit choppier because I had to remove my head. But anyways, just know there will be less head. <laughs> Sounds weird. In less videos. There'll be less of the back of my head in future videos, okay? Okay, glad we got that cleared up. Um, so I'm gonna apply, you're gonna watch me apply gel to all 10 fingers because I just wanted you to see the array of colors that I'm using because they're also beautiful. This color right here, this is um, Sweet Pea from the gel bottle. <sighs> really grinds my gears because it looks like it should be opaque as hell. Like this is a yogurt gel next to it. Beautiful pigmentation. Love it. Um, we got some of the gel bottle fillers. I fill layer up three times. And uh, not all of them are like that, but some of them. It really pisses me off. But yeah, I feel like it's because I'm comparing to these yogurt gels and they're just like so pigmented and wonderful and beautiful. Some of them you can even apply just like one coat. Like, oh my god, the show me gels? Show me gels. Yeah. They're definitely like a one coat situation for the most part. The colors really pretty though. Anyway, applying all 10 different colors to all 10 different nails. Um, and then I'm gonna use like 40,000 airbrush paints to follow. I use the one air, I'll get this out of, out of it now, out of my, what am I trying to say? I'm gonna matte top coat right now. That's not what I was trying to say, but that's what I'm doing at this moment in preparation for the airbrush. And so I use the One Air airbrush paints. That's what I want to say. Um, get this information out now before I try and explain my art. Uh, they are not a gel base. They're an air dry airbrush paint and I prefer them to the gel paints because they're just easier to work with. You don't have to worry about getting like skin allergies when it comes to getting gel on the skin because lots of those airbrush paints are gel based and you have to cure them. And if you get them on the skin, then that's just curing gel on the skin. Okay, so here I am using my One Air airbrush paints um, and then my stencil saver book you can see to the left there, uh, both from Glam Goodies. You can also get 10% off on Glam Goodies with code Rebecca. We love a discount code. Um, so I'm going, I'm laying down my stencil, stencils are from Really Hot Girl Nails, um, and then basically I'm just doing usual aura situation. I'm laying down a base color, and then I'm grabbing another color. This one I'm doing two layers because I wanted the orange to really pop, so I laid down a white first. And that's really it, you're literally doing an aura inside of the stencil, and it's actually cleaner than just doing an aura straight onto the nail. because stencil there blocking things out for you. So laying down the base color with my airbrush paint, going in with the second color, doing a circle right in the middle, and that's it. God, it's so simple. It's just literally, it takes 50,000 years to change airbrush colors this many times. Um, so like this would be a tier three basically timing wise for me. I love this one. Black with a little pastel peach. The pastel colors are really pigmented so you don't need to layer a white in between colors, but the bright colors are not as pigmented, so I recommend layering a white dot under other colors. Like, that's it. Like, that's, you see, I mean, it wasn't fast in real life, but you see how easy that is. That's so simple. If you did it all like one color or whatever, be like, you'd be in a nail. Um, so now I'm filing the edge, or just filed the edge of the nails, because I do that whenever I airbrush. I do like to treat my airbrushing like chrome. You don't want anything on the free edge, and you want something for the gel to adhere to. 
And then I'm going in with the Izemi Neo Base in the Thinner Viscosity. And this is my favorite gel for capping in my airbrush. And so I always cap in with like a, a base coat. And then I'll go over top of that with a top coat. Just to make sure everything's staying put. There's no chipping. There's nothing to worry about. Um, and once I do all the fingers, I go in with my Izemi Resin 99.9 .9 Top Low. Which is the Thinner Viscosity Top Coat. Which is perfect for nails like this and I apply a thin coat to all of the nails capping in the free edge of course um and that's about it like I said it's like super simple in theory switching colors so many times not as chill um but I think it turned out really fun I think this is a really cute set for summer uh, and then I'm just gonna wipe off that tacky layer and any airbrush paint I maybe got on the fingers and this is very rare, but I'm going to show you me cuticle oiling <laughs> before taking photos. I don't know why. I had this clip, so I just thought I'd throw it in. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know your thoughts down below. What other videos you want to see from me? Tutorials, that sort of thing. And I shall catch you in the next one.